Simultaneous equations can be solved algebraically or graphically. In this video, we're going to look at how we can solve simultaneous equations by graphing them. This video will be broken into two parts. In part one, we'll look at plotting a linear graph using an equation. And in part two, we'll look at solving two linear equation lines simultaneously. The first thing we need to know is the equation of a straight line. That's y equals mx plus c. The m represents the gradient or the slope of the line. The c represents the point at which the line intercepts the y-axis. So let's look at solving the first part of this equation. Let's work out the gradient or slope of a line. The gradient or slope of a straight line is effectively the change in y-coordinates divided by the change in x-coordinates. So think of it like this. Let's pick two coordinates. In this instance, I've picked the coordinates 0, 1. The 0 is the x-coordinate. The 1 is the y-coordinate. And I've also picked coordinates 1, 3, the 1 being the x-coordinate and the 3 being the y-coordinate. From that, I can work out the gradient. So I've gone along 1 and up 2. I've gone along 1 on the blue line, up 2 on the purple line. To work out the gradient, I simply divide the amount that I've gone up by by the amount I've gone along by. In this instance, I went up by 2 and I went along by 1. 2 over 1 equals 2. Therefore, my gradient of this line is 2. The next piece of the puzzle that we want to solve is the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. Looking at the line, we can see the line crosses the y-axis at 1. Therefore, the point where the line intersects the y-axis equals 1 and our gradient equals 2. Thinking back to the equation for a straight line graph, y equals mx plus c, we know the m represents the gradient and the c represents the point at which the line intersects the y-axis. We can simply substitute our figures into this equation. Therefore, y equals 2x plus 1. Now it's your turn. What is the equation of this straight line graph? You can pause the video and press play when you're ready to reveal the answer. From the diagram, look at the blue line. You can see that I've gone across by one square. Look at the green line. You can see that I've gone up by three squares. So I went up by three and along by one. So writing that again as a fraction, I could write three over one. So three over one is three. Therefore, the gradient of this line is three. The next piece of the puzzle I need to solve is the point at which the line intersects the y-axis. And you can see that the line intersects the y-axis at two. So if I substitute these numbers back into the equation of a straight line of y equals mx plus c, I get y equals 3x plus 2. Okay, so we've considered the gradient of a straight line graph when the gradient is positive. It's running from left to right uphill. In this instance, we can see that the line runs from left to right going downhill. Therefore, the gradient is going to be negative. But we work out the gradient in much the same way. We work out how far we go along by how far we go up, divide how far we've gone up by how far we've gone along, and that will give us our gradient. So I need to pick two sets of coordinates again to work out my gradient. In this instance, I've picked negative four as my x-coordinate and five as my y-coordinate. And my second set of coordinates, I've picked zero as my x-coordinate and three as my y-coordinate. Therefore, looking at the blue line, I've gone along four, but in this case, I've gone along by negative four. I've moved away from the zero to negative four and I've gone up by positive 2. My fraction can be written as 2 divided by negative 4. 2 divided by negative 4 equals negative 0 0.5. My gradient is negative 0 0.5. So now I have the gradient. I need to find the point where the line intersects the y-axis. Well, we can see the point intersects the y-axis at 3. So, the point where the line intersects the y-axis equals 3, and the gradient is negative 0.5. Again, I'm just going to substitute these numbers into the equation for a straight line of y equals mx plus c. So y equals the gradient of negative 0.5x plus 3. Now moving on to part 2, we're going to plot 
two linear equation lines and we're going to solve the values of x and y simultaneously. So you've been given the following question to solve. Solve the following simultaneous equations graphically, y equals x plus 3 and y equals 2x plus 1. Now the first thing I want to do is break this down into simple manageable chunks. I'm going to look at the first equation, y equals 2x plus 1. And the first point that I'm going to plot is the point at which my line intercepts the y axis. We should now recognize that the 1 represents the point at which the line intercepts the y axis. So make that your first point when plotting out this equation. From that first point, we can plot out the gradient. Now, remember the gradient here is 2. So I should intuitively know that I'm going to go along 1 and up 2, since 2 over 1 gives me 2. That's the gradient. So starting from the point at which the line crosses the y axis, point 1, move along 1 square and move up 2. Again, when you get to your next point, move along square and move up two. And keep repeating that process. And I've plotted a few out for you. And that is how you plot this equation. Now we want to plot the second equation of y equals x plus three. Again, we should identify that the three represents the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. This will also be the first point where you will work out your gradient from. And in this case, the gradient is one. And the reason it's one is because in this equation, it's simply been represented as x. So you could think of one divided by one is one, or in this case, just x. So therefore, if I move along one and up one, that's given me the value of x. So let's start at this point three. Let's move along one, add up one and I've completed a few for you. So let's now plot the two lines together. Let's plot the two equations of y equals x plus three and y equals two x plus one. What we're looking for is the point at which the two lines cross, giving us a set of coordinates. Those coordinates will give us the values of x and the values of y, therefore solving this simultaneous equation you can see that the two lines cross at the coordinates of 2, 5, where the x equals 2 and the y equals 5. 